Android app compatibility is probably one of the biggest things that prevent people from using custom ROMs. When you're installing a custom ROM, no matter what the ROM is, there's always kind of this lingering question if you're going to be using um, all the same software that you can currently use, and if it's compatible, and if it's not compatible, then why is it not compatible? Will notifications work? Will banking apps work? Etc. cetera. Um, what we did was we released a really early version of this called Plexus, um, and it pretty much used to be a spreadsheet on GitHub. It evolved to be a website, and the real problem with it is that it relied on people having to go online and submitting data manually for every single app, and the goal was always to have an application that you install locally on your device, and it automatically populates which apps you have installed on your phone, and then you could submit reviews for each of them all in one uh, efficient manner. And that's what we've done. So I want people to try out Plexus V2 and I want to showcase Plexus V2, which is already live and already ready to go. So when you boot it up, you're going to have a welcome screen and it kind of gives you a breakdown of how this works. So degoogled is essentially going to show you a compatibility score on a completely degoogled device. This means a device that has no compatibility layer, nothing. So something like if you install Lineage OS, without MicroG, or if you use Calyx OS without MicroG, you're on a degoogled operating system. We also have MicroG. There are some other compatibility layers out there, um, but they are intended to either completely emulate Google Play services or just be Google Play services. Um, and so we don't really formally include these. You have the status here. We use uh, pretty much broken, bronze, silver, and gold uh, to represent whether or not an app is compatible. And then you're going to see there's a degoogled score and a micro G score. Uh, we also have some other things here, including Android versions, as well as if something's a Google Play alternative, it's from F-Droid or an APK. So, so when you go to the homepage, you're going to see some apps here that people have already submitted. So a big uh, takeaway for this video is going to be, I want people to actually contribute data um, because the more data we have, the better. We have a ton of these missing apps, like six, nine runner. Apparently that's an app. Um, but there are no reviews for either MicroG or degoogled. And really the way that an app like this works is if we have people contributing data, we should have dozens, if not hundreds of reviews for each app so that people can keep track of how things are doing over time. So uh, I know that in the thumbnail, I probably include YouTube because it's a good example uh, to help people along on this journey. So you can see here that YouTube, if you're on a degoogled phone, is broken. So you can't use the YouTube app on a degoogled phone. But if you're using MicroG, it's a silver. Um, and you can also view user ratings. Um, so it's going to show you the ROM that people are using as well as um, any notes that they have. So people say here mostly works, some minor missing features, briefly shows warning about missing Google Play services, then crashes. So that is actually what happens. It shows um, where they get the app from. And it also shows what version of Android they're on. So you can see, oh, wow, the app works on Android 13, but not on Android 14 um, or something like that. So you can actually try to figure out when and where the app works. So I really want people to contribute data and be a part of this open source movement here. Um, it's going to make custom ROMs a lot more accessible to people. Um, the way I'd suggest going about this, so if you go into the bottom left here, you're going to see Plexus data. So that's how you can search through data. You can favorite things here. Um, and then you can also pull up your favorites down there. Um, but really, you should go to your installed app section, and then this is where you can conveniently do your reviews. You're going to click Rate, and you're going to select what ROM you use and some other basic information, and you're going to submit that. Now, we actively made this in a way where no personally identifiable information is recorded when you do this outside of what's going to obviously be public information. So there's a privacy policy here. Definitely read it if you're concerned about it, but we don't bake any trackers into this. The whole thing's open source. Um, and it's going to detail why we have these two or three uh, app permissions here. So yeah, I'm really excited for this. I think it's a great opportunity for people to contribute to something. There is also a website, uh, which is very limited, which uses the same data as the app. So you can at least see this uh, without needing to install the app. Um, some people have been asking why this isn't on the Google Play Store, um, mainly because we don't want to go through Google. And also, uh, it doesn't really make much sense if you think about it, because the data is available on the website. And the goal is for people to be moving to a custom ROM with this tool. So it doesn't make sense for us to host it on the Play Store outside of maybe just trying to get it more downloads. Um, but you can't actually submit apps uh, if you have Google Play services installed. 
because that's not what we're testing for. So it actually doesn't make much sense to host it on the Play Store. In terms of downloading it, uh, the easiest place is from GitHub. You can just download the APK. Um, you can probably use Optanium to start receiving updates directly from our GitHub repo. But if you don't want to do that and you want to get it directly from Fdroid, a little bit of a tricky thing here. If you go directly through Fdroid's repo, um, they haven't been able to compile our app properly, so it's actually a few versions behind and they can't figure out why, and it doesn't seem like it's an issue on our end. So um, that's a little bit of a weird issue there, so I wouldn't really recommend going through Fdroid at the time of making this video. However, it is on Izzy's repo, so we went out of our way to add it to Izzy's repo on Fdroid. So it's really easy to add Izzy's repo on Fdroid. It actually gets you access to other things like ProtonMail and some other stuff within Fdroid. And Plexus will be included there with the latest version as well. So we're still pushing out some minor updates here as we get some bugs uh, figured out. So definitely make sure you're getting it or keeping up with updates. Uh, it is worth mentioning too, they are reproducible builds. So that's a pretty cool little feature that we included as well. Another quick thing, I think it's worth mentioning the people who built this are not formally part of the Techlor team. They're open source contributors, they're volunteers, they're people who put a lot of work into this. So if you wanna help support them, I've set up a LibrePay and a Monero wallet that's specifically for them. Uh, none of those funds will go to Techlor. 100% of that goes to the people who built the app and the website. So please, if you appreciate Plexus, if you use it, if you believe in the mission, uh, contribute to show your appreciation to the people who made it happen. Um, we couldn't have done it without them and they're open source people building something for open source people. So yeah, I'm gonna give you several calls to action. First, you can star Plexus on GitHub. There's the sites repo and there's also the apps repo. Both will be down below in the description. You can star both of them. Please download the app either on Izzy's repo or from GitHub, um, and then definitely contribute data if you get the app. Any data you contribute is super helpful, and there's probably someone else using your phone or your ROM who's curious about a specific app, and you can directly help that person uh, possibly migrate to a custom ROM if they see that things work or don't work. We need a lot more reviews, and that's really the main reason I'm making this video. Um, the more numbers we get, the better, so please contribute any apps that you have. It's massively helpful. Don't forget to contribute to the project financially to keep things like this growing. Again, these are two people who are open source developers who have built this uh, pretty much in their free time, and we couldn't have done it without them. So if you want to directly support those people, I'll leave the Libra pay down in the description, as well as a Monero address that, again, goes uh, to a wallet that's specifically designated to them. It's separate from the tech or wallet. I also want you all to leave feedback. Um, definitely leave any comments below of things that we can do to try to improve this. I'll share it along with the developers and they'll see what they can do. We can't do everything, but this is a big step for us. Um, I know it took a while for us to get here, but we had so many changes we wanted to do and we figured we'd bundle them all up together because so many things required other things to be done and I lost internet. But that's okay, we're gonna keep going. Um, and so we just decided to group it all into a V2 and I'm super excited to see it. I always had this vision in my head uh, for what a project like this could look like and I think it's pretty much there. And the last call to action I have is definitely share this concept around. I feel like not many people know about Plexus. I still see a lot of questions asked throughout different communities if X app works on Y operating system. Just push them to Plexus. I think it's one of the easiest ways to kind of centralize this kind of stuff. Um, and it allows, uh, it doesn't have, you don't have to ask the same question in eight different places. So we're trying to centralize this, we're trying to make it easier for the community. Um, and so try to share it around and share the concept around because I think it's one of the best uh, things that I've seen to try to consolidate this data. That's all I got for you all. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time on TechLore. Download Plexus down in the description.